Hello students, today we will study class 6 geography, chapter number 3, motions of the earth. Our topic is summer solistic and winter solistic. In previous topic, we have discussed about rotation, revolution, orbital plane, leap year and uh, elliptical orbit. Here we will understand and also uh, we have discussed about uh, circle of illumination. So here we will understand about the summer solistic and uh, winter solistic. So as you know that seasons are the uh, seasons are changed due to the revolution of the earth. A year is divided into four seasons: summer, winter, autumn, and spring. So we will understand with with the help of this figure. Uh, summer solistic so on 21st June <clears throat> on 21st June northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun you can see here northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and it gets it receives uh, continuously heat and light of the sun and uh, the areas near uh, near the poles receives uh, less heat as the rays are uh, some slanting and uh, <clears throat> the north pole is inclined towards the sun so the places beyond the arctic circle uh, experience continuously uh, continuously uh, daylight uh, for about uh, six months so uh, since a large portion of northern hemisphere uh, getting light of the sun so that is the reason there will be summer season in the northern hemisphere and uh, <clears throat> the longest day and shortest night at uh, these places occur on 21st June okay so always remember that on 21st June um, lo uh, longest day and shortest night occurs and uh, in southern hemisphere all these conditions are just a reverse means just opposite uh, condition will be there in southern hemisphere there will be winter because uh, uh, <coughs> uh, because uh, it doesn't uh, get, get uh, heat and light continuously okay so nights are longer than than days okay so in winter se uh, sol uh, in winter season nights are longer than the days and uh, that is this position that is the reason this position is called summer solstice clear yeah. next is uh, on 22nd december on 22nd december southern hemisphere is tilted towards the means the south pole is tilted towards the sun and uh, <clears throat> uh, as the sun rays uh, fall vertically on the tropic of capricorn here tropic of capricorn so therefore it is summer in the southern hemisphere and just opposite uh, condition will be there winter in the northern hemisphere so always remember that on 22nd December, southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and that is the reason uh, the whole area will get uh, heat and sunlight of the sun and that is the reason summer will be there in the southern hemisphere. And uh, Therefore, uh, longer days and short, shorter um, nights will be there and uh, the reverse will be happened in northern hemisphere, there will be winter season. So, this position of the earth is called winter solstice. Clear? So, on, on 27 this, uh, 22nd December, winter solstice will be there and on 21st June, there will be summer solstice. <coughs> On 21st March, and you have to remember uh, here, on 21st March and uh, on 
23 सितंबर द सन फॉल डायरेक्ट सन रेज फॉल ऑन द इक्वेटर एंड दैट इज द रीजन पोल्स पोल्स आर नॉट टिल्टेड टूवर्ड्स द सन नीदर पोल पोल्स आर टिल्टेड टूवर्ड्स द सन एंड द होल द होल अर्थ experiences equal days and equal night so this condition is called equinox so when uh, equal day and equal nights will be there so that condition is called equinox now you have to understand that what uh, season will be there so on 21st march there uh, in northern hemisphere in northern hemisphere there will be spring season and in southern hemisphere there will be autumn season and uh, uh, if you will understand about uh, 23rd september so on 23rd september uh, in northern hemisphere there will be autumn season and uh, in southern uh, hemisphere there will be spring season so uh, just opposite opposite case will be there uh, on 23rd september so we can say that in march another uh, <clears throat> in northern hemisphere there will be spring season and uh, in southern hemisphere there will be autumn season and in september there will be autumn season in northern hemisphere and uh, in southern hemisphere there will be spring season so uh, <coughs> always remember that uh, equinox uh, in equinox days and nights will be uh, equal now one thing you have to understand that uh, christmas is celebrated on 25th december 25th december okay so that is day uh, of of christmas celebration so in india in india in uh, 21st december uh, there will be winter uh, winter uh, winter season okay so <coughs> in northern hemisphere our country falls and uh, uh, in southern country australia is fall uh, australia falls so in that case <coughs> on 25th december there will be winter season in uh, india and in australia there will be summer season uh, on 25th uh, december so that is the reason in australia christmas is celebrated in summer season and we celebrate in winter season uh, winter season so always remember that uh, in winter solstice our country falls uh, winter solstice is on uh, 22nd december and that is the reason in uh, in uh, Uh, our hemisphere means northern hemisphere there will be winter and the main reason of uh, celebration of uh, christmas is uh, is that uh, our country is uh, our country lies in northern hemisphere and uh, australia lies in uh, southern hemisphere so on that day there will be winter solid and there will be winter season in northern hemisphere and uh, summer will be in southern hemisphere so now chapter is over and uh, i will give you question answer thank you